Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Good day to you. In this series video clip, I will show you about recurrent billing. Let me tell you what is the recurrent billing. This module allows authorized user to set recurrent transactions and generate them manually or automatically. It can be billed daily, weekly, monthly, and annually. Before you can do this setting, you must have purchased recurrence module. You can enable this module in tools, program control, module setting. Check your recurrence module and then click OK. Now let's see how you can set the recurrence for transaction. You may create new invoice and then select the debtor. Insert your item and then you may see save as recurrent at the top left. Click save as recurrent and then you may set your recurrence. And then choose the document number format. Select the debtor account which you want to generate the recurrence transaction. You can select multiple debtor account for one recurrent. Choose to create the recurrent transaction daily, weekly or monthly. Choose the period setting for the recurrent transaction. This setting will change based on the option daily, weekly or monthly. Range of recurrence To set the range of recurrence to start date and the end date. The end of recurrence can be after a number of occurrences or end by a fixed date. Here is to generate next recurrence date. It will show all the recurrent transaction information based on setting. When you're done setting all, you may save recurrent setting and execute the first recurrent transaction if range of recurrent is met. Or you may save directly the recurrent setting. Save recurrent successfully. After you have set the recurrence billing, you can always go to others, manage recurrence to amend the recurrence setting. For example, I edit and have set the recurrence to daily billing on the debtor. The next day when I log in in my app account, the system will auto-generate the invoice for billing. You will see the prompt message on the right button. You may click the notification. And then you will see system already generate the invoice. Back to your sales invoice and then you will see the billing here. That's all for today and don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel and visit our website to get more information. Thank you for watching.